Hi, my name is Jeff Jones and I'm part of the OEP committee. And I did a lot of the Zoom trainings that we had for track wrestling and flow. And now we're recording these to put training videos on the USWOA website. Uh, when we did our Zoom training meetings, we covered quite a few items in one meeting and they uh, did run kind of long. So we're splitting these tra video training, um, training videos up into certain topics to shorten them up. And then you can just watch them all if you wanna know, or maybe some of the stuff you know. In this training, we'll be covering how to set up a tournament that matches are assigned to the mats using a call to math system, usually like a mat assignment display. We'll also show you how to set up the tournament so semifinals and placement matches can be assigned to certain mats to showcase them. Also, how to set up the tournament um, using sessions. So first of all, let's bring up the tournament here. And here we go. So first thing you need to do is um, look on tournament mats. We have no assignment scheme, mat assignment schemes here or a place to get to them. So we're going to need to go to the settings page. Scroll down near the bottom and find electronic bouts and turn that to yes. And then also put this to three, um, which is the norm for most tournaments. You can reduce that to two once you get to the constellation semis or wherever you want to do that. Anyway, now if we come back to mats, come back to mats, we can see where we can go in and put our assignment schemes. We'll come back to this page later. All right, so if we go to bracket types. We have our four different bracket types we're gonna be using. Um, we have some 64 man brackets, 32, 16s, and some eight mans. Now you could have round robins in there also, we did not put those in because that just takes longer to do. But if you go in the track wrestling guide that we put together, you can see a rounds uh, page put together and where we kind of suggest you put in the round robins or you can do it any way you want, want to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's our bracket types. Now we go to left menu. Go to rounds, and now track wrestling has has the um, auto rounds. But in this case, the 64s are going to be wrestled here, to round one, and then championship round two to 32s. If we leave it this way, and every and you can see how they'll be wrestled. What we want to do is match it to uh, USA Wrestling flow chart, which we wrestle the big, biggest chart, uh, biggest charts first. Um, we all know that there's two more rounds in a 64 than there is in a 32. And there's two more rounds in a 32 man bracket to 16 and also two more in the 16 and the eight. Um, also, there is two consolation uh, rounds to every championship round. So I'm gonna show you how to put these together because what we wanna do is eventually get them all to the, in the same uh, place in the tournament by like the quarterfinals in this case. Um, and then uh, they'll all wrestle the semifinals together and then the placement matches. So first of all, we start off with our 64 man bracket, just like it is right now. 
And our next round would be 32 and the 64 champ round two and consolation round one. We combine those and I would just call it round two. And those are right there. And now we gotta come back and get our 64 man consolation round two um, in there. Now we gotta save our round order Otherwise, that would have been right back to seven. If you've seen what I did is I clicked on the seven and just put in three and it popped it up there. But since I moved it, I have to save, save round order. All right, so our next one, we're gonna wanna run the 16 man uh, champ round one the 32 man champ round two in consolation round one, and then the 64 man champ round three in consolation round three. So I put those together, combine those, and I'll call that round four. And notice it's in the right spot so I don't have to save it around. All right, so now we got to come back and catch our consolation 32 man consolation round two and also 64 consolation round four. Uh, where are they? Here. Select those two, combine it. And I would call that round five. Now I have to move it up. Um, right here. So I move that up to position five. And I would say round order. All right, our next round will be the quarterfinals. So I can bring in the eight man, the 16, um, the uh, 32, sorry, <laughs> I was looking at something. And I would combine that and I would call that round six QF and say okay. And it's in the right position, so I don't have to um, move it up or anything. All right, so now we have to come and grab our constellations for the 32, six, uh, 32, 64, and 16. So I have this one. I have this one. And this one. Combine selected. Call it round seven. Move it up one. Now you can use these arrows too. I moved it up one, now I have to save the round order. Okay. So our next thing is we gotta put the semifinals together. So we have our eight man, our 16, There we have all our semifinals. Combine selected. I'll call that round eight. And I'll put in SF for semifinals. And now we have them all together here. Then we're going to want our consolation semis. 
But one thing you probably notice as I'm doing this, how mixed up all the rounds would be for the different size brackets and how confused the wrestlers would be if you didn't put them together like this. Um, they would be all wrestling at different uh, rounds at different times, depending on the size of their bracket. I'm just gonna call this consolation semis. And they're in the right, and then I'm gonna put these together and call them placement matches. And we'll just say placement. Now, if you're not gonna showcase anything, um, any matches, like the semifinals here, or the placement matches, um, you're good to go. But in most USA tournaments, or even a lot of the state tournaments, you wanna showcase those semifinal matches and the um, placement matches. So to do it automatically, we have to make a separate round for those. So give me one second here to get my, okay. So, um, So we're gonna take care of the we're gonna have to add a round now. And I'm gonna say round, we're gonna do the semifinals first. Eight point one. I'm gonna call it uh, consolations with semifinals. And I add that. We'll come back to that. All right. So just to show you quickly, we need to go to the bracket types. What I would do and find out their match ID numbers. So we're going to view a sample. I'm just going to go to 16. So I would do a handwritten spreadsheet. And here's the match ID numbers. So the first place match is 29, the third place match, match is 28, and the fifth place match is 27. The semifinal matches are 17 and 20. So I would do a you know, handwritten spreadsheet um, across the top, I'd say semifinals first, third and fifth, and then the size brackets down the other side and just put those match ID numbers in and go and do them for each, each chart, uh, bracket size, I'm sorry. All right, so let's go back to our rounds page. So I have to move this up. So I wanna put this in position nine and I wanna save it. All right, so I already have my spreadsheet and you would see, um, you also would probably wanna look at the constellation, uh, the constellation matches, what match ID numbers those are. I have them down, so here I'm gonna come here. In the 16 man bracket, they are match 23, comma, 24. And the 32, they're 55, comma, 56. In the 64, they're 119, comma, 120. And then in the eight man bracket, it's six, comma eight. Now those are the match ID numbers. 
or the constellations. So I save round detail. Now you're gonna notice that these are red now, and this is a good training thing, is if you ever have something wrong and you have two, um, something wrong, it's gonna come up red in one, in one of the rounds and you need to figure out what, what you did and fix it. So what it's saying here is I got 23 and 24 up here and I got 55 and 56 up here. So now I have to come and fix these. So I know that 20, 17 and 20 53 and 54, um, 113 and 116, and then I know 5 and 7, and I'm going to say round detail. And now everything is good. Now I'm going to also want to showcase the placement matches. So all the first place matches are going to be on one mat, the third place on another, and fifth place on another, another mat. So I need to add a round here. I'm going to call this third place. Add. I'll come back. I'm going to add a round, call it fifth place. And add that. Now for my spreadsheet, I know the fifth place matches are number 27. And the 16 man, 61, um, 125, and 13. I'm going to save that. Third place matches. I could have done that earlier. I, I don't know why I did. 28. 60, 60, <laughs> um, 124, and uh, 12. I'm going to save round detail. And now we're going to come to this placement one. And we're going to take out, we're going to make this first place. And this will be 27. I'm sorry, 29. This will be 59. This will be 123 and 11. And we save the round detail. Now everything is black, it's not red, so everything is good. So now we have a round where all the first place matches, the third place matches, and the fifth place matches. All right, so that's our round, rounds page. We're good to go there. Now, the next thing we want, we can do all this before uh, weigh-in start. Um, it's advisable. Otherwise, it's just gonna take you longer. You can get everything done ahead of time. So now we wanna go and make number schemes. I have them done ahead. I like, to like junior would start with 1001. I use clocks at all my tournaments. So I can look at the top of the clock and if I see a 1000 ball number, I know there's junior matches on there. I mean, you could also go 
uh, junior starts at one, maybe 16U starts at 500, uh, whatever you want to use, or 501, I should say. <clears throat> I do it this way so I can know what, what age group is on that mat at the time. So I did all my number schemes already. So now I need to come here and go to mats and set up my assignment schemes. So I'm going to work with 16U. So I'm going to say, so now I'm going to give you two scenarios. I'm going to set up one scheme here. Um, we'll go 16U. Uh, I call them prelims. So we're going to take all the rounds. Up to the semifinals and just run those on whatever mats we want. And I'm going to add it. Uh, that's one way if you're going to get the tournament done in one day and just run right through. And then we're going to add a scheme. It says 16U semifinals. And I picked the semifinals. And I add it. Then I'm going to add a scheme called 16U Consolations. So that's going to be the consolations uh, that run with the semifinals and also the CONSI semis because they run right next. I'm going to add it. And then I'm going to add a scheme um, for each placement match so I can put them on separate mats. First place. Sixteen. U. Third place. Make sure every time you pick your age group, third, and what round you want in that in that scheme. 16U, fifth place. Okay, so now we have these split up. So when we go to put them on mats, um, so we would start off the tournament. Um, we'll come back to this. Anyway, if I was gonna do um, like sessions, I was gonna run round one, two, three and four here in a session, I would just set it up and pick those rounds and then pick round um, five, six and seven um, later in the second session. That's how you split those up. Um, we just did it this way because most tournaments are done in a day. Um, but if you did have sessions, that's what you can do. All right, so now we have everything set up. Um, now we can go do weigh-ins. And we do all our double checks. Um, in this tournament, we are gonna do, we're gonna draw all seeds. Um, I'm assigning the bracket types. 
come here and check them. Now they all have a different bracket type and they're all good. All right. Now I'm going to come here and build and delete the brackets. I'm going to draw all seeds. If you want to do um, seeding or separation, there is another video that will explain all of that because um, that takes a little bit too. So we're going to build the brackets for 16U. I'm going to have to type in draw now. Sixteen brackets have been. I always go just go double check quick and make sure everything is good. Should be. All right. Now we want to number our matches. So we go to operating, and go to number schemes, and we're just going to do sixteen U. So we come here, pick sixteen U, and we're going to apply that scheme. Now let me explain one other thing I didn't before is we're going to we're going to number all the 16 U matches starting at 1 and work our way until we're done. Okay? So we're going to apply the first time you build the bracket here you number your brackets you leave it as on the first one here. Um, if you make corrections and you have to renumber them then then that's when you have to decide if you're going to freeze existing bound numbers and maybe have duplicate numbers, or you're going to, to freeze everything. Uh, there's a, another video that explains all that. So anyway, we're going to continue. We're going to apply. Now I always come here, go to bout schedule, go to oop, 16U. And make sure our numbers, everything's numbered and they look right, which looks right to here. So, all right, anyway, now we want to go to mats. And to start off, we're going to do the prelims. And we're going to put them on five mats. All right, so now we're going to, we pick that. All the one different uh, mat assignments, we, mat assignment scheme, sorry, we have here. So I'm going to load the mats, type load. And now I'm going to go to operating about detail. And I have three matches on every mat. Now notice here that this match is not ready to go because it's um, here. So what I can do is move this down. And sometimes you have to do that. I would put it at the end of 126. Uh, there's another video on bout detail. I'll show you how to do all this. Um, so 2025. Oop, wrong one. I'm going to put this 2025.1. Notice now it moved down here to the end. And did I pick the wrong one, maybe? <laughs> Twenty-five, twenty, twenty-five point. Yeah, back up. Twenty, twenty-four point one. All right, now we're good. We might have to move these matches down because of go times, but they might work out fine. Anyway, that's a whole nother uh, video training. Okay, so you see they're all here. So we go through all, do all our prelims, and we get we get to the end of prelims, and we want to put the um, 
semifinals on certain mats. So I'm going to sit there and showcase the semifinals on mats one, two, and three. And then I'm going to put that the constellations that run with them on mats four and five and possibly six. But that's all I do. And if you want, you didn't get them, you can load mats. If you get them in time, uh, check out the about detail page. Uh, they'll change. And what we're doing here is there's, let's go back here. There's a stack of bout sheets, basically, um, with all these in order. And as one match gets done on a mat, we're taking a, a, a bout sheet off. It's all done by computer, but basically, and putting it on that mat. So as one match gets done, another is assigned to that, that next mat. Um, that's the easy way to look at it. So this is how we um, work it. Hopefully, I think this should work. It didn't. Sometimes in uh, staging, uh, mat assignment display, staging site, mat assignment display doesn't work. Um, but that's all, all we have. We're ready, we're ready to go. We're assigning them. Uh, showing you how to do all this. And we're good to go. Good luck with your uh, next tournament. And if you have any questions, you can always email one of us from the OEP committee and we'll definitely help you out if you have any questions. Thank you.